What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Pain Fro Games. In today's video, we have some breaking urgent news for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. That's right, we have a brand new seven star Ray Terra battle announced, which is going to be Ghost Terra type Typhlosion. The last of the Hisuian trio is coming from April 14th through April 16th, and then it's going to be coming back the following weekend, April 21st to April 23rd. Of course, guys, if you enjoy my type of content in general, please. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, you can join the channel as a member and join the Pan Fam today. So we got Ghost Terra Typhlosion. It's gonna be very similar to every other raid that we've had before. One, it's gonna be Ghost Terra. Two, it's gonna have its hidden ability, which is gonna be Flash Fire. So we're definitely not gonna be bringing fire type moves to this, or we're gonna boost its fire type attacks, which it most definitely will have. Also, it's going to have the Mightiest Mark, which is pretty cool. And, of course, you can only catch one of these. Now, I'm assuming it's going to be dropping relatively similar items. Chances at ability patches, which is a 1% drop. But you always are guaranteed a patch on the very first raid that you uh, defeat. So that's going to be really cool. I'm assuming we're going to be getting a lot of money items, a lot of calciums, which is the vitamin that increases the special attacking stat. So this is going to be pretty good to farm for ghost terra shards and for farming calciums, which is really exciting to us. And honestly, I think this is personally leading up to a big Pokemon home announcement because now that we have the last of the Hisuian starters, but no Hisuian forms, I think it's perfect for Game Freak to give us Pokemon Home so we can finally get the Hisuian forms of all the PLA Pokemon. Now let's look at Typhlosion stats here. So 78 HP is pretty pathetic overall. So it has a low HP stat. And even when you multiply this times 30, this is not going to be that high at all. So this is a Pokemon that's going to be a good candidate for us to probably knock out in two or three turns relatively easily. And I'm sure there's going to be a one turn method as well. Now, 84 attack is not really respectable either, especially considering special attack is 109. is definitely going to be a special attacker, but these past few raids, there's always been some sort of physical attacks, but let's be real. The special attack is so much more scarier than that physical attack. I think it's going to be a pure special attacker this time around. Now, with 78 HP, we also got 78 defense. And this defense is really pitiful, similar with the HP. So if we can find a good Pokemon to hit it super effectively on the physical side, it's going to be absolute bonkers. So I think that should be our goal as a community, to figure out what Pokemon can hit a Ghost-type Pokemon super effectively. And of course, because it is a Ghost Terra, and it is not actually a Fire-type anymore, it is going to be weak to Ghost, and it's going to be weak to Dark. So keep that in mind when we're thinking of mons to build for this raid. Now, the special attack stat is 109, and this is actually going to be a threatening stat number here. 109 is going to hit really hard, and it's going to have a good move pool of fire moves for sure to accompany the ghost moves as well. So 85 Spadef is really just pretty pathetic too when you combine with 78 HP. Overall, Typhlosion is really... He's pretty much a glass cannon in a way. He's pretty fast with that 100 speed. 109 special attack hits pretty hard. But overall, he's not going to really have a good way to get that damage out and survive. He's going to do big damage, but he's really not going to survive. So I really do think this is going to be one of the easier raids, and I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, looking at the moves by level up, we know it's going to have a couple of these moves here. And I'm going to pretty much not even talk about the physical attacking moves because they're all pretty bad. And we know that special attack stat's so high that I really do think it's going to be a mono special attacker. So Ember, we can pretty much rule out. But Eruption is the signature move of Typhlosion when it came out. So I can actually see Typhlosion starting the fight off with an Eruption, which would be really powerful. I mean, 150 is a massive uh, move damage. So we got to watch out for Eruption. So you definitely don't want to bring anything that's going to be weak to fire to this raid for sure. Now, Swift could be there, but I really don't think it will be. Sort of, if it has Swift, that would be a great thing, but I'm not going to predict Swift. Lava Plume and Flamethrower are probably the two other moves I can see on the fire special attacking side that this Typhlosion can actually bring. Don't think it's going to have Inferno and misses too often. It could have Overheat, but because it doesn't have Nasty Plotter or a way to actually buff its special attack, I do think Overheat would be a little bit awkward on this set. So I'm going to really lean towards Eruption here and either Flamethrower or Lava Plume. Now, Lava Plume has a 30% chance of actually burning, which is going to be really good for the Typhlosion because since it's so weak on the defensive side, if we can catch some burns on our physical attackers, then it's going to pretty much rectify them absolutely useless. So we got to keep that in mind too. 
Now, it does learn a move called Smokescreen down here. And Smokescreen, to me, always felt like one of the signature moves of the Cinequil line. You got it pretty early. And this could be the big uh, like status move that this Pokemon is going to have. It doesn't really have a lot of moves to even try to buff itself, but it can use something like Smokescreen to lower the evasion in general. So I am actually leaning towards Smokescreen as one of the status moves here. So we got two attacking moves and one status move down. Now, it's not going to learn Infernal Parade because, one, it is not Hosuian, but it actually does a quite a few good egg moves. But the one egg move that really stands out is going to be Extra Sensory. Extra Sensory is an 80 damage psychic type move. I really think it'll fit on here. Don't really think it's going to use any of the physical moves for sure. It could use Curse, but it is a ghost type, so it would cut its own HP in half, which would be pretty crazy, but maybe Curse doesn't work how we would think it works in a raid. But that is one that it could work, but I'm sort of not going to count on it. I don't think we have Howl either, which is a physical attacking, boosting a status move. So I really think extra sensory and then two fire moves and then smoke screen. Now looking at the moves learned by TM. Now moves by TM, we organize this. There's a lot of physical moves. There's actually a lot more physical than special moves, but I don't really think any of these physical moves have a chance. Maybe Shadow Ball or Shadow Claw here. Shadow Claw is a physical ghost move that's high crit, but it doesn't really need to use Shadow Claw because it naturally learns uh, Shadow Ball here by TM. So and Shadow Ball obviously going to be better with the special attacking stat of the Typhlosion. It does more damage, 70 versus 80. So I think Shadow Ball is a guarantee lock on this Pokemon. So that's three moves I think we can lock down for sure. Fire Spin I don't think it'll have. Could have Heat Wave. It could, but I mean... I think flamethrower or uh, flamethrower is going to be a better move than uh, heat wave here in general. Maybe could it could run fire blast to really uh, output that damage too. Fire blast is a possibility for sure. Uh, definitely not going to have fire pledge. Definitely not going to have blast burn and maybe overheat. But I'm sort of uh, against overheat. I do think it's it will much rather have fire blast and overheat for sure. Now focus blast is a terrifying move and it has to have focus blast for sure because it's a ghost terra, which means it is going to be weak to dark and ghost well ghost speeds ghost it has shadow ball we have to assume it's gonna have shadow ball right but focus blast here is going to be all the dark types so it has to have focus blast lastly the raid boss could have something like sunny day or willow wisp as is other options but i'm not too afraid of willow wisp honestly and especially it has lava plume why would it double stack on that so maybe it has something like sunny day could do Sunny Day Solar Beam. However, when Charizard had Sunny Day as the first raid boss we had to experience in the game, it didn't have Solar Beam. And that Pokemon has Solar Power. So I feel like if they didn't do it for Charizard, there's no way they're going to do it for Typhlosion. So relatively, I think if we bring strong Dark-type Pokemon that can either lower the special attack of this Pokemon or some other Pokemon that can resist, you know, Focus Blast or resist fire moves to lower that special defense or defense stat. We should be A-OK. -okay. And the two Pokemon I'm looking at right now is going to be Houndoom, uh, has Nasty Plot, has Dark Pulse. Yes, it is weak to Focus Blast, but if you have three Toxapex as your ally and they all hit that Acid Spray on turn one, so it's at minus six, and then turn one, that Houndoom uses Nasty Plot, turn two, the uh, Toxic Hex use Helping Hand on you, Attack Shear as well, and you hit that plus two life orb uh, Dark Pulse. That's going to do a big amount of damage. I haven't calculated it myself. Could be a one shot, could be really close, but you know that's the type of strats we're trying to think on this channel. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. And of course, let me know in the comment section below if you have any good Pokemon you would like to build for this Pokemon. And of course, I'm going to be making a build guide video later this week for Typhlosion because I'm really excited to raid with everyone this Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern because that's when it's going to release on the U.S. East Coast. Anyways, guys, peace out. Have a good one.